Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We did our best to get through this next interview without doing, doing this, losing. Yeah, he makes us laugh daily as the host of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Yes, he's one of the funniest comedians around and a friend to the show. And just one more favorite person that we absolutely love. Yes. We sat down with him, this year's um, host of the Black Music Honors, uh, the one and only Ricky Smiley. Yay! So, Ricky, you know, like me, you cook. And, oh, yeah. you know, football season is in, in full swing. Yes. yes. What's, what you cooking on game day? Uh, crab and lobster salad. I'm it's coming. pretty like the conch salad recipe. Uh -huh. So you get your, uh, your onions, your bell peppers, mm. your tomatoes diced up or whatever. And then you put your lobster in there, and then you, you do your Lowry's garlic you salt, throw that and you mix Lowry's. it out. Lowry's. Lowry's. Garlic salt. So Lowry's. Right. And then you take your lime <laughs> right. right before you serve it and squeeze, squeeze that lime on there. And bam, Good you got goodness. that. And then you have Wait, your, more. Oh. Uh, yeah, your smoked barbecue chicken. Oh. And uh, You use a green egg sometimes. <laughs> The what? The green egg. Nah, I just old you know, fashioned, old, old fashioned weird. casket barbecue crib. Oh, that's, that's what you like. The one with the thing the on the side. Oh, it one takes little... six of y'all to carry it. Uh -huh. You need Paul barrels to move. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rick, you make us laugh, obviously, on the radio mm -hmm. and on stage. What, what continues to make you so unique mm -hmm. by being funny and delivering a message yeah. at the same time? Uh, just relaxing. Yeah. You just kind of relax, not doing too much, because sometimes you can get so busy to you don't have time to think and create. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you go and just sit by a body of water and just do nothing for a few days yes, and man. you do a lot, you take a lot of days like that, get off the air at 10 o'clock and just make sure that the rest of your day is clear yeah. mm -hmm. or whatever, you get an opportunity to just relax and create stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, like what's really hot on social media now is my little grandson, I had a little grandson that turned three, so mm -hmm. I got life in the house again because mm -hmm. my baby's gone off to college, right. Alabama State. And Baylor University. Mm -hmm. I have a daughter at Tennessee State. Come on, come so, uh, on. So, future AKA. Yes. Okay. And, and a future Delta. Okay, <laughs> okay, so, okay so, now. So, my daughter's going, going, it's going to be a whole, they going to come whole, together. A house divided. divided. Yeah. <laughs> a house divided. Yeah. So, yes. I'm looking, uh, but, but having him in the house, uh, actually got videos of him diving off the diving board. Mm -hmm. uh, really? Just turned three. Can't really talk. But the he can best, swim. But he can swim. Yes. Oh, wow. And he take the garbage out. Oh, see, that's, that's, that's my time for me. Yeah, so I got it. Already. Hook yeah, so up. he just turned three. So he he go and check the garbage, pull the garbage can out of the kitchen, take it and put it in the big garbage can in the garage. Yeah. So yeah. train a child. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Make sure that he's a good husband. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. my kids still won't take out the garbage and they're 20. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. I started young, but still they, they just still won't. You got to put them no. out when they're 18. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> just like that gospel song, I try, sometimes I fail. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, but on a serious note, with the upcoming election coming out, mm -hmm. what is the biggest message you have to tell your fans right now? How can we prepare <laughs> ourselves? I think they already know. Yeah. You know, I think they already know. They really need to... Uh, you know, to get out and vote. And, mm -hmm. and even if you disagree on the policy, mm -hmm. uh, Donald Trump is just not fit mm -hmm. to be the president of the United States, yes. uh, you know, with the growing of uh, uh, fascism, mm -hmm. uh, uh, white nationalism. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I see the American flag on somebody's truck, I get scared. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm wow. thinking white nationalists because they have taken the American flag, mm -hmm. which stands for one thing and made it something else. Mm -hmm. And it's scary. Uh, when I go in different stores and go around the country, I feel hated. I feel like I don't belong. Mm -hmm. And uh, and now people are open with their hatred, uh, with their hatred mm -hmm. and yes, their racism. Yeah. And I've said on my radio show, and it might not be popping, and I'll say it here, everybody need to become, uh, be prepared to protect yourself and to protect your families. Because if this continues and if he gets reelected and people starting to feel more comfortable, you might have I have a doomsday package in my house. Yes. And I'm I I'm sorry, I am prepared to while we standing in line waiting on chicken sandwiches, mm -hmm. they are out there with their kids at target practice mm -hmm. and and yeah. stuff and you just need to be prepared because it that's something that's likely. So I'm not trying to scare anybody, but you really need to get out and vote. Right. Because whether he's Republican or Democrat, you just cannot have somebody that's obviously racist mm -hmm. in office. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about your social media. You are so funny on yes. social media. You, <laughs> think you throw so. some jewels yes. on social media too, but yeah. let's talk a little bit about the funny part of social media. Mm -hmm. What is it like for you to reach people through social media? 
I just love, uh, I love being on social media, yeah. you know, sometimes sit my phone there and play the piano mm -hmm. and sing, do Bernie's jing, and just, you just get to do it when <laughs> yes. you feel like it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like, hey, you know, it's not staged like, like this right here. Mm -hmm. Like we all prepared and, mm -hmm. or whatever. It's like no hair, no makeup. Yes. Just in the house, just chilling. doing the social media, yes. just, mm -hmm. just chilling. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, you, you got a lot of content. Yeah, you do. Well, what you, you think about Eddie Murphy coming back after? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Mm -hmm. It's about time. Um, I talked to Eddie Murphy. He's a friend mm -hmm. or whatever. And I told him that I would be happy to uh, be one of his writers yeah. or whatever. I wouldn't charge a dime. Wow. I was just like, I got some jokes that I could give Eddie Murphy that he could, you know, do and say, because I write a lot of jokes, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but I don't use everything that I write mm -hmm. because I don't think that sometimes some of, some of it fit who you fit are. Who I yeah. am. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, like, I call and, and like, it's some dirty stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I know some dirty comedians. I'll give it to them. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I'll say, like, hey, you can use this. Like, I can't use it, but here's something that I thought about. Yes. Take it and use it. But I would love to uh, write for Eddie Murphy. But I think that him coming back, and he is a true legend, yes. and I'm just, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about good. that. Right, right. Conscious. Yes, <laughs> yes. For more Ricky Smiley, don't forget to look out for the Black Music Honors. Please make sure you check your local listings to find out where you can watch. And if you're staying with us for the full hour, more of our interview with Ricky Smiley is next. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Absolutely. Yay. We are back with more of our interview with the hilarious Ricky Smiley. Of course, we had to find out all the tea about taking over for the hardest working man in radio, Tom Joyner. Okay, so the biggest news right now mm -hmm. is Tom Joyner mm -hmm. passing the baton to Oh, no, he's still living. <laughs> you didn't let me finish. <laughs> passing the baton. Oh, no, 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 what do you think I said? No, no, we're not going to kill No, we're talking about, we're talking <laughs> about him <laughs> passing <laughs> the radio baton over to you. <laughs> and we all know that you are a radio icon in mm -hmm. and of yourself. Mm -hmm. But how does that feel for you to have him pass that baton on to you? Um, I'm excited about it. Um, it's crazy because when I was on local radio in Birmingham, 95.7, I would take off work. I would call in sick if Tom Jordan was doing a sky show and go and sit in the balcony and just watch that radio magic. Those mm -hmm. people lining up at mm -hmm. midnight to wow. go to a Tom Jordan sky show. I would get in trouble for it because somebody found out I would be in there with a hat pulled down <laughs> and some shades. Because I wanted to see how that worked. And mm -hmm. I was just so excited because I was a big fan. And I would always go into Tom Jordan's studio. Uh, to listen to stuff and like, man, I really wish I could do. I was doing this kind of, this radio, but I wanted to do this radio. Mm -hmm. This fits more. And I wasn't, uh, I'm excited about it. I wasn't seeking it. I was just focused on what I had mm -hmm. and what I was doing. Sometimes mm -hmm. God give all of us a little test to see what you're going to do, do with it. Yeah. Yes. And how you're going to motivate, encourage, and talk about him and bring people closer to him and mm -hmm. make people feel better and laugh. Uh, working in Dallas again. Yeah. Uh, that's one. I'm a big Cowboys fan. No shade on the Falcons, but I've been a Cowboys and Cleveland Browns fan my whole life. Wow, you so, know you're excited about the Browns this year too. Oh my God! Yeah. I, got, <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got my Cleveland <laughs> Browns. So, you know I kind of grew up in Cleveland, right, so right. you know two one six, two one six all day. Oh so goodness. I'm really excited about the Browns. But uh, I just thank God for the opportunity, and I hope y'all will be joining me on the Ricky Smiley Cruise. Maybe y'all could do a live broadcast. Ooh, have a full circle. Come on the cruise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We would love to be there. Yes. We would love to be there. <laughs> yeah, that's how yeah, you do it. Definitely. I'm excited. Well, let me tell you something you did do. What? Mm -hmm. You hosted the Black Music Honors and you did your thing with Latoya Lucky. Yes. You were yes. hilarious. Well, thank you. You yes. were like, do you, do you, how, what is prefer, like, preparation like for you? And do you write your, did you write your own jokes for the show? No, I just kind of off the top of my head, uh -huh. just make sure that when I'm open casket sharp yes. or whatever, you know what I'm yes. saying? Uh -huh. You go to Zara and get you a little tight suit. <laughs> Where you go? Yeah, Zara. Zara and then get you some ace bandage to pull this in or whatever and just go out there and just look like a G yeah. and just have fun. And working with Latoya every year, we have good every yeah. Year. yeah, We have a good time. So I'm just, you know, uh, honored to be able to host that every year yeah uh, so it's i think it's the third or fourth year yeah and uh so it's a lot of fun yes, so i'm yes. grateful for the opportunity yes, yes. Uh, tamika scott and of course the rest of the of escape got honored as well so yeah. Yeah. i know we're i know it's just Ooh, uh, it was so just fun <laughs> <laughs> All in all, Ricky, I mean, you have so many great things going on. Yeah. What is something that you 
have not accomplished that still. Mm. You know, Rashawn, I'm, I'm really comfortable. You know, because once you've done movies, I, I figured that sitting on a TV set of a TV show 12 hours a day was not for me because mm. that don't go with ADHD. It just don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have, I have to see the sun. I have to look mm. outside. My teacher always had, they had to sit me by the window at school where I could daydream for yes. a few minutes because my little, my little brain just kind of, <laughs> but to be able to go to work at five o'clock in the morning, which I'm an early bird anyway, so no alarm clock, get up, go to work, go to bed at eight o'clock, I love that. And getting off the air at 10 o'clock in the morning and have the rest of the day yeah, to yourself. yourself to yes. go grocery shopping yes. and cook and go pick your grandson up from daycare and yeah. just, I have to have a sense of normalcy. So the Hollywood stuff, the star stuff, the red carpet events, some of that stuff is just just not for me. I just don't I don't care for it. So I just have to have balance. I like to go to church. I still I still I had to play at a funeral two weeks ago. You did. They didn't have a musician and somebody was like, nah, he don't still play. I'm like, yeah, I play for Roro. The guy named Roro in the neighborhood died, died. rest in peace. Or whatever. But I played at the funeral and right. then, like, you play the piano in the organ? So, you know, every now and then I play at a men's day program, yeah. you know, especially Are they excited car. to see you when, when you oh, come yeah. in? When I get up on that, is it unbelievable up, for them? When I get up on that hammer, people be like, you play the organ? That's how I made my money. I was making $75 a Sunday. Oh, that was yeah. a lot of money yeah, in the late 80s. Yeah, it was, like yeah. 75 yeah. G's, uh, not G's, G's but 75 yeah, dollars. Yeah. I get dollars it. a Sunday, yeah. that add up. My yeah. rent was three thirty-five. I wasn't on Section A, but it was the apartment company. <laughs> <laughs> I was living there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I saw a yeah. shit that was on Section A, so I'd give her $25 to pay rent up for a whole year. Right. So that was Shut a blessing. Shut up, you are. <laughs> oh, why did you live your life the way you live it? But I got to tell you, 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 you do some amazing things for people. You've raised your children. I'm talking to you, Ricky. I'm talking to the ADD, see, it's her. I, 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 I have ADD, she, too, though, so. Yeah, you know it's you. Yeah. We, we haven't had our best. Well, yet. I just want to talk about fatherhood, because you're yeah. an amazing father. You, you've raised your own children and everybody else's kids. Too, mm -hmm. yeah. and you've even talked about your three-year-old grandson now. Mm -hmm. I mean, what 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 does fatherhood mean to you? Why is it so important to you? Everything. Uh, fatherhood is wonderful until they turn 14, 15, 14, 16. 14, 15, get yeah. you. They become that, teenagers. That, 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 that really? stuff right there. Um, you need that stuff right there. Yeah, that, that, that teenager. <laughs> they come back around, though, right? They come back around. Some do. Yeah. And it's something that just can't come back to my house anymore. I'm still looking for that uh, that father-in-law I'm supposed to be getting. Oh yeah, I got. Oh yeah, you yeah, right. Got, uh, oh, oh yeah. That, right. Yeah, I get rid of the California can. We get us two queen oh, size beds. Not that, you. You're supposed to be finding somebody. No. Oh, finding somebody. Oh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna call you daddy. Ew. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Ricky, thank you so much. Continue success on everything. You know we love having you down to the circle. We do not want you as a stepdaddy today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can we give it up for the one and only Dickie <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Daddy, you're right. You're right. He said he was going to holler at Missy. That's what he was going to sit down. That was fun. He's always a good time. We love you Make sure to check your local listings for Black Music Honors. It's airing in syndication now through October the 20th, and you can catch his radio show, The Ricky Smiley Morning Show, in syndication daily.